Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to add and backup your Proxmox VE virtual machines using Nikivo Backup and Replication. To begin, log in to the Nikivo Backup and Replication web interface. Navigate to Settings and select Inventory. Click the plus button on the right and choose Virtual in the Platform section, then click Next. Select Proxmox VE Host or Cluster and click Next. In the Options section, set up a name that will be displayed in the inventory and select the type, either a standalone host or a cluster. Enter the host name or IP address of your Proxmox host, then provide a username and a password. If necessary, modify the web interface and SSH ports if different from the default settings. Finally, indicate a temporary file location for creating temporary overlay files for raw disk images. When done, click Finish and wait for the host or item to be added to the solution inventory. The Proxmox VE host is now listed in the inventory. Clicking on the host displays its contents. As you can see here, I have five virtual machines in my Proxmox environment. Once added to the inventory, a transporter is automatically deployed on the host to enable running backup and recovery jobs. Click on the Proxmox VE host in the nodes section to view the transporter details. If needed, you can edit the transporter settings, such as the assigned ports or the maximum number of tasks it should process at the same time. Now, navigate to the Data Protection Dashboard, click the plus button, and select Backup for Proxmox VE. At the Source step, you can choose to backup the entire host or just specific VMs. In the right pane, reorder VMs based on priority to ensure high priority workloads are processed first and click Next. At the Destination step, choose a backup repository to store your backups. You can choose a cloud platform and other S3 compatible storage. You can also select local folder or network share as a destination. If you have configured a federated repository, you can also choose it as a target for your backups. You can check out our video on federated repositories to learn how to set them up. The video appears in the top right corner. The advanced setup allows you to exclude specific VM disks from the backup job. Additionally, you can store VMs in different repositories within a single backup job. For example, you can choose to back up one VM to the cloud while storing the others on premises. If you've already backed up a Proxmox VM using Nikivo backup and replication, you can map it to existing backups to avoid running a full VM backup again. Just check the use existing backup as a target box to link the source VM to the current backup and run subsequent incremental backups to the new location. Once done here, click Next. At the Schedule step, Choose whether to manually run backup jobs by selecting the Do Not Schedule or Run On Demand checkbox, otherwise, set up a schedule for your job runs. Nikivo Backup and Replication allows you to create multiple schedules for Proxmox backup jobs. For example, you can set up daily backups to run on weekdays after business hours, starting at midnight. You can also define the retention period for recovery points and set the number of days backups should remain immutable in the repository. Click the Add Another Schedule button below to create an additional schedule. For example, an end-of-week schedule to run on Sundays. Set up the retention and immutability periods as needed, for example, 30 days and then click Next. At the Options step, enter a name for the backup job and assign a priority level from 1 to 5, with 1 being the highest. Enable App Aware mode to ensure data in applications like Microsoft Exchange Server, Active Directory, and SQL Server remains consistent. Choose a change tracking method for incremental backup. By default, Proxmox native CBT is used to speed up data transfer and detect changed blocks since the last backup. Alternatively, you can use Nikivo's proprietary change block tracking or disable change tracking altogether to create only full backups. In case of errors, switch to the proprietary method for continued change block detection. Enable network acceleration to speed up data transfers and reduce traffic between sites if you're using repositories off-site or over low-bandwidth networks. When network encryption is enabled, backups will be encrypted during transfer with AES-256 encryption. You can also enable backup encryption to encrypt data at the source before it is transferred, this way it remains encrypted over the network and while stored in the repository. The product offers an efficient password management dialog box, so that you do not need to enter your password every time you restore encrypted data. We recommend that you use the AWS Key Management Service as an additional layer of protection and to be able to restore the password hash in case you forget it. You can also enable exclude swap files, partitions and unused blocks to reduce backup storage space and enhance data transfer speed. Under Full Backup Settings, specify how often you'd like to create full backups. For instance, you can choose to create a full backup every other weekend. 
You can also specify how full backups should be created, either synthetic or active full. Synthetic full only stores the changed data since the last backup, combining it with existing blocks to create a full backup. Active full, on the other hand, reads all VM data from the source and transfers it to the repository. If needed, you can configure pre and post scripts to perform specific functions before or after the backup job. Under data transfer settings, specify how many tasks the transporter can process at the same time to balance the load and optimize backup performance. Configure bandwidth throttling settings to control the amount of network bandwidth used by your backup and recovery jobs. Finally, if you enable bottleneck detection, Nikivo backup and replication will log performance data from components like transporters, disks and networks during data transfer to identify any potential bottleneck. Click finish and run to save the changes and run this backup job. The backup job is now running. As you can see, the backup has been successfully created. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to catch new uploads. You can also visit the Nikivo website to download a free trial version of Nikivo backup and replication and try the solution in your own environment for 15 days.